Okay, this is C.A. Pazano for Tampa Bay Film. I'm here at Rise of the Dead. My question, Danford, is I'm going to make him think on his feet here. Who do thought you, of the title? Do you even know my first name? Because you always call me Danford. It's Rick. Or, it's Rick. There you go. Yeah, all right, good. I, know, I know everyone's first <laughs> Just name. Just making sure. Just making sure. <laughs> okay. It is Rick Danford. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Superstar. Right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> who thought of the name? Of what? Rise of the Dead. I did. And why did you think of the name? I think it was over breakfast one morning, and uh, I just... I That's have, a smart-ass question, I isn't have, it? <laughs> I just thought Zombies right. and Rise of the Dead sounds good. Throw it on there. It was good. It was a good I name. Liked I liked it. Really good name. Can't go wrong with a zombie film festival, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. You need zombie video games, too. You got one. If you'd have told me about that, I'd have told people about it. Do you zombie, like my zombie, my, zombie my undead? My, my he has a zombie bowling game on his thing. <laughs> <I think. laughs> What'd you think of the game? It was fun. It was uh, interesting. Gory. Yeah, but good. Gore's always good. Do you like the fire bowling balls that set them on fire and they're screaming and he's yes, running around? I like it even more after a few cocktails. Gore's <laughs> burning blood should turn brown, so. See, there you go, being critical again. Just enjoy it for what it is, Chris. I have to be realistic. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, and, and um, we were talking about Saints and Sinners earlier. Right. Four film festivals, they were epic and legendary. Epic and legendary. Will they ever come back? I don't know. I've thought about it. I, I like Saints and Sinners concept because it gives us a chance to show more than just horror. Because mm -hmm. that was the whole idea was the Saints were the, you know, romantic comedies and the notebooks of the world. You know, right up your alley, Chris. And, uh, the Sinners. <laughs> notebook's a good movie. Yeah, nice. Christo. Yes, yes, yes. What do you think of the notebook? Oh, that was a good movie. great. See? Right. She likes it. All women and you like it, yes. <laughs> but um, and then the center's part, of course, we got to show the. Thrill somebody on Facebook so. said that uh, somebody was ragging on the Notebook, and I go, "Why is everybody ragging on the Notebook?" And then uh, I said it was a good movie, and then uh, somebody told the original poster, who's a guy, "Yeah, Chris might hold you if you start crying." Oh, I like, oh great. See, you open yourself up. So 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 now they think I'm gay because I like that movie, but I don't care because it's a good movie. Mm -hmm. Titanic's a good movie too. Okay. Best movie ever made. In terms of endearment, I'm sure you're a big fan of. And I haven't seen that one. Steel Magnolias? That's probably one of your favorites. I haven't right? seen one of those. What? I haven't seen that either. <laughs> I haven't seen everything. I just watch whatever I can. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I did see Jason Murphy. <laughs> sneaking yes. by the camera. Hi. See? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> He's camera shy now. He's frozen. Ask him a question, Chris. Come on. Part of the interview process. Well, Jason, I ran into Hot, uh, Hot Import Nights 2006, and I, was, I ran out of memory on my memory cards, and he lent me a 64 meg card. And it was one of my favorite moments as a photographer. 64 megabyte. 64 megabyte. Oh, not 64. I go, this megabyte. photographer just saved my bacon because he, he let me borrow a memory card, which allowed me to continue shooting the, the uh, Hot Import Nights models. Right. See? Just and borrowing implies giving it back. back. <laughs> you... But I have it today, so I can give it back to you. Oh, you see? How many years ago was that? Eight. Eight years ago, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> and then my friend Shane was with me. He was like, going, You know what, Chris? That Jason guy is a better photographer than you. I go, You know what? He is. And I don't care. He's, just, he's a pretty cool guy. <laughs> I like that Shane guy. That Shane guy? Very <laughs> smart guy. And you need you need uh, to, to keep photography, keep doing photography, especially with that kick-ass poster that you shot over there. Yep, amazing that poster. My favorite part of that poster though, myself. is what? the bottom right corner with a dollar. Uh -huh. That's my favorite part. That get stuck out to me. That's my hand. That's your hand. Yep. Look at that. You see, that's the kind of trivia that used to be on the DVD. <laughs> that's Jason's hand with a dollar. With a yep. dollar there. Look at that. Classic. That always that's, works. That makes that poster pop. But Jason, sadly, I haven't seen your movie yet because I'm, I'm just one person. Tonight. I can't be in there, I can't be in there and out here at the same time. Uh, hypothetically, in the future, Tampa Bay Film will have crews of three. I have one person sitting in there reviewing films, one person running the camera, and the other person interviewing probably a model or an actress doing that. So we'll just have your people get with his people and we'll do lunch right. and figure it out. Exactly. Because. <laughs> You're just movie. laughing at me it's now. It's worth your time to watch. And Chris is back. Chris is back there laughing too. He bought it. He bought it. He bought it. it? Yeah, he got a swag bag. I bought everything. I buy. I buy everything. That's why we invite this guy. He buys all those swag. Yeah, I buy everything. Video bombing your interview with my protein bar. <laughs> <laughs> wow, getting photo bombed by Necro Nancy. This is the life. Uh, I remember her from Alarm. Alarm is a badass film. Yes, it was. 
Very good film. It's almost like a PSA, but it's actually a good film. It was a very personal film for all of us. And Bo Hitchcock, Hitchcock's, it was one of his ideas according to the running commentary. And I, I understand that he's a late Bo Hitchcock, so he was a good guy. He was a very good guy. I, I, I got Bo Hitchcock. Where have I heard that name before? I looked him up, and I found out he passed away. And I, it was just, it sucked. Bo was a Playboy yes. Oh, he was? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was also an attorney, from what I understand. Yeah, he was. In South Florida. So... Jason, what do you got coming up next? He was, he was well respected and did you a lot of stuff. You were just in stuff. Barcelona. Was that for soccer? Or I you was actually doing photography in Barcelona. And I keep, I keep on telling you, Jason, continue with the photography, man. Yeah. It's how I make all my money. Have a, have a couple of it's been slow, but I'm still making money doing it. Yeah. Even w in today's environment, where everybody thinks they're a photographer. He'll let you get a word now, You just got to pay some. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Nothing. Just keep going, Chris. No, no, go on. Um, <laughs> yeah, I do need to keep my mouth shut. I, I said that in my last review, which you haven't read yet. You've been saying it for the past five minutes. Calm down. No, my last review, I said I need to keep my mouth shut. Uh, but you haven't read it yet because I haven't published it yet. That's right, yeah. Next year when I read it, yeah. Okay, I forgot what the question okay. was. Okay, I'm sorry. Go on. In November, we have a movie we're shooting called Monster Terminators, as in Monster Exterminators. It's mm -hmm. like a family-friendly uh, monster movie. Monster Squad type? Monster oh, Squad. I love Goonies, Monster Squad. That type of uh, Excellent. They're making another movie uh, that's supposed to be similar to that. It's based on a book called Killer Pizza. Have you heard that? I bought that. I actually found the book in a garage the other day. I bought it uh, for my son to read it. But it's supposed to be about a uh, little 15-year-old uh, kid who goes to work part-time at a, a pizza shop when he finds out that the owners of the pizza shop are actually uh, monster hunters. And look, it's, a, it's a children's book. Where it's supposed to be real popular. That's what they said. They're making a, a big budget Ghost Goosebumps movie as well. Yes, I saw pictures of it. Jack Black's in it. I have heard of this series, Goosebumps. In the movie. That's cool. Absolutely. Pretty fun. So, yeah, I'll, I'll write in that kind of family monster. Well, although I haven't seen Jason's movie Zombie, Zombie, Zombies yet, which he should have abbreviated to Z3, but that's just my opinion. Hindsight. Yeah, hindsight. Um, knowing how he is as a photographer, he's got a good career as a filmmaker ahead of him. We'll see. I'm trying. Keep doing it, man. <laughs> you did a great job with that. You'll like it. It's in your bag, right? You? Yeah, it's in my bag. You'll be able to read the review online in the next couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> next couple of years? Right after he gives me that memory card back. Probably, yeah. Yeah, Tampa, Tampa Bay Film has a bottleneck right now. Because I had to fix some things that were wrong with the site. Despite that, it's ruling the search engines, so I guess I can't complain about that. Think how much more popular it'll be though when there's actual content. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, that'd be great. I need to get the online film festival up because that, that one guy is like going, when's the film going to be up in the reviews? Like, I'm working on it. Well, he's got the review from my Halloween Horror Picture Show 2013, and we're hoping to actually see it in time for 2014. So we're working on it. Good luck. Yes, good luck. Well, I have until October, don't I? <laughs> you don't have until October to give him his memory card back. Remember, you brought it today. Yeah, it took him eight years. Eight years, that's right. Don't let him walk out the door getting it today. I got it in my camera bag right now. It might be another eight years. <laughs> With my polarizer, which I haven't used yet. <laughs> because it cuts down on my light going into the lens. So, and shooting natural light, that's not good. <laughs> questions for the interview? Or? No, you guys have been great. Thank you. So, okay, Jason, good job. And I'll cut this in the next segment.